Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I will talk about a new app released in these days in the Microsoft Teams App Store by Microsoft, called Approvals. Through this app, it is possible to create, manage and share approvals requests directly in the app for teamwork, Microsoft Teams. Every user can easily create a new approval request by adding the title, the description, attachments and approvers. The approver will get a notification directly in Microsoft Teams and across approvals is able to approve or reject the request. You can easily build multi-steps approval workflow across Power Automate and build more complex scenario. It's very easy to use and intuitive, but let's go forward and I'll show you every step how you can use it. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. I got a new update. In fact, my left navigation bar, it looks different. You can have this new left navigation bar by enabling the public preview on your Microsoft Teams app. You can check a video that I made by clicking in the top right corner right now. Okay, let's go now to the topic of this video. I want to install this new app called Approvals from the Teams Store. In order to open the store, you have just to click on this icon Apps. This will open the Microsoft Teams App Store and in the search box, I can just type Approvals. There we go, we have this new app developed by Microsoft available. Now, clicking on this app, I have the option to add this app as a personal app. This means that will be installed in the left navigation bar here. But clicking on the drop down here, I have two additional options. I can target a team channel or a chat. I can install this app in a specific channel or I can install this app in a chat that I already have with another user. Let me add now this app as a personal app and now this is available here in the left navigation bar. Let me click on the right button of my mouse because I want to pin this app, which is very, very useful and important for my work. Okay, let's click again on apps because I want to install this new app in my channel and in my chat conversation. Clicking on the drop down, I will add now this new app in a, in a team. Clicking on the search box, I will have now several teams that I already have available. Let's click on IT and I will install this in the general channel. Let's click on the setup a bot in this channel. In this way, I am able to start open this app and to create an approval request. Again, let me click on apps because I'll show you how you can install this app even in a chat conversation. Clicking again on the drop down here, I will have now the option to install this bot in my chat conversation with Ligu. Let's click this. I have now installed this app. I can start to create my approval workflow directly from here or if I delete now this text, I can click on this icon approvals. This will open this panel and from here I can start to create my approval request. So from here I can type the title holiday approval. Then I can decide what is the approver of my request and will be Ligu. You can set multiple approvers, but one is fine for the moment. Then you can add details in this approval request. Then you can even add a file. So I already have here a file in my desktop. I will add this one. And then you can set custom responses if you want. But let's keep the default responses, which are reject and approve. Let me send now this approval request. I have now this request just created here in the chat history. I can click on the button view details to open again this pop-up and to display a summary of my approval request. I can read the title, holiday approval. I can see the detail, please could you approve my holiday request. I can see attachments and then the status requested. We can see that the response is pending by Ligu and the request has been created by me, Giuliano De Luca. I can decide to cancel the request if I made some mistake in order to create a new one. 
but let's close now this panel and let's see now how to approve this request from a different perspective in this case from Ligu which is the approver here I am in teams with Ligu connected it's time to see now and to check the activity feed here I have one notification let's see what I have here so I can see that we have here an approval request created by Giuliano we can see here that there is Giuliano De Luca sent you a request clicking on this one we can see that this now this request is highlighted and I can click on the button view details to get more information about this request I can see now the request of Giuliano and here I can add some comments before to take my decision then I can click now on approve and finally I can approve this request created by Giuliano switching back now on the on the view of Giuliano I can see that now again I have a new notification which coming up also with the Windows notification but clicking on the feed on the activity feed I can see now the new notification that tell me final status approved clicking on it I have again the highlight on this request and I can see that this request is approved by Ligu I can click again on the button view details if I want to see for example when Ligu has approved my request a second valid way that you have to create an approval request is in the team channel closing now this pop-up and going in teams I have now this general channel of the IT team open it clicking on new conversation here I have a new icon available approvals because previously I installed the approvals app in the IT team general channel clicking now on this icon I'm able to open this panel and to create a new request this request will appear directly in this channel so clicking now on the title I will type something here new project electric bicycle then approvers this time I will add two approvers Ligu the second will be Patti Fernandez there we go then there is this option require require a response from all approvers you can disable or enable yes I want to have the approval from both then additional details I will add an attachment that I already have here a word document electric bicycle where are stored all details about this new project then again I can decide to have custom responses or not let's keep it as is disabled and let's click on send I will send now this request and this request is now placed in this channel and here I am connected as Ligu I can check this new notification coming and Giuliano sent you a request which is stored as you can see here in the team IT general channel so I can open this request and I can check in this panel every detail and here I can provide my comments looks great so clicking on approve now I provided a first approve from one of the two approvers that I added we can see that now this information is stored I got this notification and then we can see that Ligu has approved just now this request the second approver is here Patti Fernandez but the status is pending let's open now this new view as Patti Fernandez here again clicking on this new notification in the activity feed I can see that I have this new request created by Giuliano let's click on view details because I have to provide my response and here I can add my comment okay clicking on approve now this request is approved and this status will change directly here but going back now in the view of, of Giuliano and clicking on the activity feed I can see that Ligu has approved the request and now the request has a final status approved because also the second approver Patti Fernandez has approved it it's time to explore the official personal app approvals 
Let's click on the here on the navigation bar and then we have this view. This is very cool because this is the hub of my approval request. So here I can see every request that I created, the status, when I created this request, requested by and sent to. Here I have the received request, then I have the sent request. And I have even the filter here. I can filter for requested or custom. And this is my tenant. From here, I can create another request. Let's do that. Presentation webinar and my approver is Ligu. Please check my presentation for our next webinar. I will add a PowerPoint presentation taking teams to the next level. Okay, now the file is added. I will create custom responses. This will be uh, please re please review it and then and then approve. Okay, let's send my request with custom responses. Here I am in Microsoft Teams with Ligu. I have a new notification here coming and clicking on it. I can directly open this request coming by Giuliano De Luca. Here there is a new PowerPoint presentation created by Giuliano. I can open this PowerPoint presentation. I can have a look and but let's switch back and let's put some comment here. Add more slides, for example, and then I can click now on this custom response. Please review it. Going back now on Giuliano, I, I got a notification here and opening again the approvals personal app. I can see that this approval request is ended with the play, please review it. That's the status, please review it. And the, my request is ended. Maybe you are wondering now, all good, it's very nice to create an approval request. But what if I need to create a custom workflow where I have to save a file in another place or maybe I have to create an item in a, some database or I have to call another web API? You can orchestrate every steps and you can easily build a custom workflow across Power Automate. Let's jump now on my SharePoint site. This is the home site of my organization. It's a communication site. Now I'll show you a custom workflow that you can have, for example, in order to create um, a news on your communication site. And then there is an approver that has to review this news before go online. Then let's click on the pages. And here I will create my Power Automate process. In Power Automate, you are able to configure page approval flow easily. Let's click on it and let's click on Create Flow. This is a recap of all connectors used in this workflow. Let's click on Continue and let's type the flow name. Home site page approval and the approver is, as always, Ligu. Let's create now this workflow. And this workflow is now created. If I jump now on emea.flow.microsoft.com, I'm able to have a summary of all, flow, all flows that I created in my tenant. Let's click on my flows and I can see the workflow just created, home site page approval. Let's click on edit because I'll show you a quick overview about this flow. This is a workflow where I have every step here. This is triggered when the user that create the news click on the button request approve. Then we have here a scope with several steps where this workflow takes information about this, the page. And then we have start an approval. And here we have Ligu as approver because when I created this workflow, I specified that the approver is Ligu. Okay, this is a normal Power Automate process. It's already saved, is already up and running. This means that I can create a new site page, for example. Going back now on my communication site, I will create a news post. Here I will select this one, visual create post and this will be the title new app for your approval requests i have now this button submit for approval let's click on it 
and I have just to provide additional information. Now, this is the first time that this workflow is used. So then I have this panel with this information and I have to click on the button continue. Here I can provide some message. Please review this news, which is very important. Let's click on the submit button. Now the workflow will trigger. Jumping now on this workflow, we can see that is running. Now, changing the perspective now, I am Ligu again in Microsoft Teams and I have a new notification in the activity feed. As you can see now, we have this new request coming, new hub for your approval request, requires approval for publishing. So this is very cool. You can combine Power Automate and approvals app in Microsoft Teams and you can have a very great use case where you build your custom workflow with all your process and custom steps. And here you can, you can just use this app as a hub and to check all your requests that you sent and that you received. I have now all information here. I have the link to the page and now I can decide if approve or not this request. All good. And clicking on approve. Now this request is approved. I got again a notification here, file final status approved. If I jump in Microsoft Teams where I am connected as Giuliano De Luca, I can see that now this request is approved. This means that now if I open again my SharePoint site, I can see that now this news is published and everyone now can see this news online on my communication site. This is a very great and powerful app that brings in one single place all your approvals requests. You can check what you sent and what you receive it. You can easily review every single approval request. And moreover, this app is integrated with other services like SharePoint, Microsoft Dynamics 360, five azure devops and power automate okay that was a very quick tutorial how you can use the new app approvals in microsoft teams i hope you enjoyed the video if yes give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future put a comment down below i read them all and this is also how i build my to-do list for my next videos i hope to see you next time bye